Richie Port has scaled the heights of professional cycling. Overcoming so many obstacles, Richie Port gets his just reward. But he's now officially called time on his immense career. Announcing on social media the end of a 13-year chapter of his life and some of the most incredible memories. As Forrest Gump said, I'm pretty tired, I think I'll go home now. This is the defining moment in the career of Richie Port, third at the Tour. The Northern Tasmanian has a long list of achievements, the pinnacle being a podium finish at the Tour de France two years ago. He missed the birth of his second child for the race. To come here, be third, um, you know, it's a, a massive sacrifice, maybe the biggest one to miss the, the birth of a child, but this is sweet, you know, this is a photo I'll have on the wall uh, when I retire. The 37-year-old was gifted a key to his home city of Launceston last year. It's an absolute privilege to be given the keys to your home city and, you know, it's a little bit more emotional than I thought it would be. As his first coach, Mark Matthews, knows all about Port's will to succeed. He just had a, like a dog at a bone, you know. You know, he enjoyed his cycling and uh, he was really tough and really hard. Yeah, it's sad to see him retire, but comes to all athletes eventually. Port's exploits on the world cycling stage have made him a hero to local cyclists. He's helped pave the way for the future Tasmanian stars of the sport. Being from Australia or, or Tassie, it's not a disadvantage now because there is a path that's been set and if I could help some kids to get over to Europe, I'd absolutely love that. There's a lot of Australians coming through now, you know, and he's paved the way for a lot of these guys as well. The end of the road for a glittering career. Damien McIntyre, ABC News.